uh, is what we're using yeah so we have old bottom tile now which is what we did on the previous one and that is pretty much it for that one so it's right tile num and old bottom tile num the next one as usual is the y-axis one uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. where is that one let's copy one of these y-axis ones and then we're checking for if map um, we're checking if he's standing above a tile basically so it's old right tile num so it's literally the reverse of what we had old right tile num uh, against top tile num I assume no no, it's the same. It's bottom tile num, so that's the same. Ignore that. And this is what I like to call old right tile num. Um, bottom tile num. And this is what I like to call finished on this. So something we've got to set is we've got to say if. Um, actually, all we can, all we have to do here is, is say map x. Oh shit! No, sorry. If map x, map x equals um, is less than sixty, right? Map X. This is so it gives that illusion that once you reach the beginning of the map or the end of the map, then um, uh, Map X equals 60. Then uh, the map won't keep moving. So you'll see that at the beginning. So once you're moving Mario, um, basically the map won't constantly stick to him. And once you get to the beginning or an end, the map will stop moving along with him. So then what we do here is we say, if map, this is fairly long one, if map old is less than 10. So old right tile num, old right tile num, and bottom tile num. Why have I got this here? I'm just wondering. Oh yeah, yeah, this makes sense. Yep. So we're saying and and. Um, yep, this makes total sense. And old left tile num. So old left tile num and bottom tile num is less than 10. So what we're saying is, right, we're saying, um, so we're saying if um, he's colliding with anything below 10, uh, if his, his bottom collision is touching anything below 10, it means it's not collision worthy. So it, it's an air tile or a coin. So that means he's touching the ground. Touching ground sorry that means he's not touching ground touching ground equals false so he's not touching ground apply some gravity so this can happen on things because you you got to declare touching ground whenever he's not touching ground so um, if you see what I mean for example when you initially spawn him he's not touching the ground so what we do here is is the methods that we were doing not pick up items so now we pick up items based on these collisions collided um, I think I call it call x x um, call y and type of collision. So we want to know if it's a bottom collision, top collision, when it's necessary. So we've got that type of collision. Yep. And then we do enemy dot. We don't have this yet. This is why we're going to comment this. Um, so once again, leave the big s here uh, text so we can come back to it. Uh, enemy and that is going to be very similarly similar. So copy that enemy dot piranha. Oops. Collision. Uh, piranha collision. Call x call y and type of collision. So what this is going to do is it's going to pick up items. Um, if it's a pick up worthy item and so on so we just we'll just run that method now the next one we have to do is a fairly long one as well this one is the one that basically manages the movement of the character um, so I'm just gonna okay and for the movement of the character what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the control character method so this is gonna begin with the usual which is probably shouldn't really scroll all the way up there but there you go uh, so come all the way back down again. I really hope I haven't made any mistakes. I actually going to do a quick build. Uh, I hope I haven't made typos because certain typos will just be punish, punishing you. So what is wrong with that then? Um, undeclared. Oh, it's big C, so it's a small C. A small C in there, and then uh, once again we're making similar mistakes here. Divided by. Oh yeah, gotta close these. Um, 
got another one like this here you make a mistake you copy it you get two mistakes um, I believe that is it let's try and build it uh, yep that's a 10 for on that um, if we then have later problems with the collision uh, collision collision then um, uh, we'll have to come back here to make sure everything's okay so then we're gonna go control character now this is where it responds to which key you press to control them and so on um, <coughs> so if am I alive okay equals equals true we open this we say and then we say four oh crap come on four int i equals zero i is less than um, max walkers then we're gonna do i plus plus uh, then we say if hmm, if walkers i dot is alive right if it is alive then the thing with this is every time we move Mario we move everything else that's how this game works um, and most platformers from what I know anyway um, the way these things work is um, like I said earlier we don't move Mario we never move him right we change his y-axis yes we do that but we never um, we never move uh, him across the map we move the map and everything that's within the map with him uh, so that's what moves so it's an illusion you think Mario's moving no actually the map is the thing that's moving so but before we do that before we move um, the map we need to store the walkers old positions in and this is because once you move the map you are forcing the walkers to move that's a fact right there um, you're forcing them to move and not only are they moving their own speed they're moving with the map so by storing their old position wherever there's a collision they can be positioned back to where they were as well so um, there's my full loop done <coughs> so first thing we do we say old map oops it's all small old map x equals map x um, then we say is that right is that remember that variable it doesn't. Is that right? Yeah, there you go. That's the one. Uh, then we go old map y, old map y equals map y. Then we say if stop movement, movement. So if there's no reason for Mario to be stopped, then we do this. Um, then we say if db left key, if db left key. Uh, equals equals one. So if left key is being pressed, I think just writing the um, if db left key does the job, but it doesn't return a boolean, so I'm not sure. So if db left key, and then you say if walking right equals equals true, and speed x is greater than zero, then we say speed x equals zero. So if he's if he's walking one way and we press the other way and we gotta stop him from moving before we move him to the other side speed x equals zero and we're saying walking right equals false because he's no longer walking right walking right equals false okay um... walking right equals false and then we say whoops it's fine and then we say else if so if the first condition isn't true, we're going to check if db timer minus speed timer is greater than 150. And if so, what we're going to do is we're going to say speed timer, we're going to reset it, speed timer equals db timer, just like we do pretty much everywhere. And then we're going to say if speed is less than 5, speed x, sorry, speed x less than 5, I've got to fix that there, speed x is less than 5, speed x plus plus, walking left equals true, 
so he's no longer walking right he's walking left now um, next thing we're going to do is we're going to say if you're pressing the right key so all we do we should just we copy this and we reverse it that's the beauty of this it is a lot of code but sometimes we can copy and paste chunks of it right ok um, equals equals one if walking left so all we do is just reverse these things so uh, <laughs> left equals true so yeah if walking left equals equals true then uh, walking left equals false uh, mm -hmm. speed x is greater than zero speed x equals zero else if you time minus speed time if speed x is uh, walking right equals true so that should be good now um, and then we say here this is how we're going to move them right do you right key equals one uh, <laughs> to be left key, to be right key, then we're going to say uh, if walking right, so if he's walking right, so the key's been pressed equals equals true uh, first we're going to do a check here, we're going to say if map x is less than player x uh, minus screen center screen center x minus 5 uh, and and map x is greater than player x um, minus once again open brackets parenthesis center x plus 5 uh, and we close that so what we're saying here is if um, this is what keeps the player from um, if map x is greater than is less than player x and Minus screen center x. I'm not too sure what this does actually. I'm just thinking about this. Um, equals map x uh, minus speed x. What you can do again here is do minus equals. That always works. Actually, uh, yeah, you can do that. Um, I'm not sure what this does actually. I'm just thinking if this is what limits the player. Yeah, I'm just thinking maybe this is the part that um, when it only moves the map yeah sorry this is you only move the map if he's within those coordinates so if he's at the end or the beginning of the map you don't move the map you just move the player player x minus speed x so the thing with this one is oh crap so we only ever move the player um, we only ever move, move the map if the players throughout the um, well throughout everything so if the player is moving not in the beginning and not at the end then we move the map otherwise we leave it still and once again uh, we just need to reverse this for left key well for walking left sorry walking left need to reverse a few things so we need to do is change that to a plus change that to a plus is that right that is um, Walking right equals equals true. Yeah, I was actually wrong, and I put the wrong thingies in, in the first place. So this should be a plus. So plus, we add that on. Uh, walking right, we plus that. Yep. And the same exact same thing, except we do minus on the second one. So walking left is minus. Then we say uh, if db left key. If db left key, db left key. It's probably not the best place to position it. Probably should have positioned this at the top. Equals equals zero db left key equals zero um, db left key equals equals zero um, what we do is we say if walking left equals true equals equals true so let's just put that in there if walking left equals equals true so you press new so and and speed x is greater than zero then um, what we're doing here is we're giving it uh, a bit of um, let me just do this and I'll explain it to you uh, <laughs> if db timer so what we're doing here is we're saying if the user is no longer pressing that key and he was walking left so if he's no longer pressing left key and he was walking left um, basically instead of all of a sudden stop him we stop him little bits at a time okay because that gives a more natural look and that's the way Mario works you don't stop him suddenly you slowly stop him bit by bit until he reaches zero so minus speed timer speed timer is greater than 150 this db timer minus speed timer is greater than 150 we say speed timer um, 